with the Raja Yoga, we were working on the different energetic centers, and today we'll be working on uh, uh, Sahasrara, the crown chakra. That's your seed of transcendence. So how it works, how it works. What the model is, what the theory is behind the chakras, is that um, we as humans, we have higher chakras than animals. So there's the belief that there's multiple lives and you start as an animal and then you work your way up to become a human. So the highest chakra you can get to when you're an animal is the lowest you have as a human. So when we start with our root chakra, which we did two months ago, uh, we work with grounding down and that's our connection with nature, with earth, and that's where it all begins. You should feel grounded. Then you work your way up from something more animalistic to something more human. And then when you reach all the way up, you reach the highest chakra, the highest energetic center, where you have the ability to transcend into the next level. What that next level is, well, that's for you to decide whether you believe. We're talking about um, more like an astral presence, so it's something more enlightened. You become one with a higher consciousness. Whether you believe these things or not, um, I encourage you to stay open, to do the practices and to feel how it feels to be connected with the different areas of your body. Definitely um, being connected with the pelvic floor does great charms to you when it comes to the physical um, benefits. So you can do that and then the pelvis and feeling more free and then working up to our core, to our navel center, to our strength, our confidence, our abundance, then the heart and a lot of people are close there. So learning to open up and being receptive and then throat. So feeling that connection there and feeling whether you feel any stiffness there, any blockage so that you can be free and you can feel creative and then coming up to the center of your brain, your clarity, your vision, your intuition. So being more connected to that, the wisdom within. Now we came all the way up to the crown center, to the crown of our head. Let's see how that feels like. So we'll start with a mantra exercise. We'll be chanting the mantra OM, the sound of the universe, the sound of expansion, the sound of the sun as it revolves around itself. The sound is OM, but we'll be using a more um, feminine, a more expansive version of OM. We'll be chanting AUM, Three lettered OM, AUM. A is down there at the root. U is higher up at the heart center, at the throat. And M comes higher up into the higher chakras the mind, the head, and beyond. I will also call you to go up when it comes to a pitch. So we start with a so when it comes to the root, and then re mi fa so la si. So what we'll do is so try it. Sit up straight. Pick up the back of the scalp. Pull the shoulder blades down. Relax your eyebrows. Exhale, inhale for Aum, your variation of it, or go along with me. Oh, <laughs> 
Last one, hold it at C, hold it at the crown. Brahmari with the same note all the way at the crown of the head. Use your index fingers to block the ears and make a Nye sound like the enye in Spanish, nye, and send it all the way back, all the way up to the crown of the head. Inhale and begin. Two more. your arms, stay up tall, sit with the vibrations. Pelvic floor isolations, concentrate at the pelvic floor, bring your arms, shoulder height, bring the palms to face the root. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, reach out through the back of the skull. Inhale deeply. Exhale halfway, squeeze the pelvic floor, bring the palms down halfway. Exhale full weight, palms all the way down, squeeze even more. Inhale, relax the pelvic floor, bring the palms up. Repeat. Squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, release. Ten more. Contract, contract, relax. Exhale, exhale, inhale. One more where you hold. Exhale, exhale, hold. Pick up the pelvic floor. Squeeze pelvic floor. Lift it up. Pull six points in and up. Send cubic bone back and up. Send tailbone forward and up. Exhale a bit more. Pick everything up. Squeeze, squeeze. Inhale and release. Alternate nostril breathing. Index and middle fingers come to the eyebrow center. Exhale through the nostrils. Use your thumb to block the right nostril. Inhale through the left for five. Switch. Exhale right. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale right. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch out left. Five, four, three, two, one. In left, out right, in right, out left. Three more rounds in left, out right. In right, 
araw ulit. Knee lift, keep sitting up tall. Out right, keep the shoulder blades down, the face relaxed. In right. Out left. Last round, in left. Out right. In right, out left. Please your arm. Breathe normally. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Squeeze your pelvic floor, lift up through the pelvic floor. Suck your lower belly in, lift up through the lower belly. Pick up the back bottom ribs, pick the chest up. Pull the shoulders back and pick up the back of the skull. Keep sitting still this way. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Grounding down through the sit stones, pick up the pelvic floor. Pull the lower belly in and up. Pick up the back bottom ribs, Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, reach up through the back of the skull, the bean to court, relax the face, keep these engagements. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely, keeping the integrity of the seat, keeping the engagements. Keeping the engagements, inhale the arms up, reach up, hold the arms up, reach up. Stay here as you exhale, keep reaching up, gaze up, open up the eyes. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, bring your head forward, keep reaching up through the arms. Inhale here, and exhale your arms to the side. Push away through the palms, pull back through the fingers. Keep pushing away through the palms, keep pulling back through the fingers. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, the back of the skull up. Keep the belly engaged, reach up through the rib cage. Push away through the palms, pull back through the fingers, and breathe. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Kapalabhati. Inhale into the lower belly. Exhale, pull the lower belly back in. Get ready for short, sharp, quick exhalations into the belly. Inhale into the belly, through the mouth or through the nose, and begin through the mouth or through the nose. Short, sharp, quick, exhale, breaths. Keep pushing away through the palms. Eyes closed or look at your nose tip. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale out. Pull the lower belly in. Hold the breath out. Pick up the pelvic floor with the chin in. Relax everything. Inhale. Hold the breath up, pick up the pelvic floor, suck your belly, in. bring the chin and push away through the pulse. Feel the expansion at the center of the chest, keep holding your breath. Bring the chin up, exhale. Inhale the arms, reach up, really reach up, reach, reach up, and exhale the arms by your sides. Sit up tall, close your eyes. Getting into the twisting part of the class. So this will be interesting. Extend your left leg out all the way forward and bring your right foot in. Keep your hips square. Suck the lower belly in, lift it up. Hack your right knee and bring your right arm back. Inhale and pick up the chest. Excellent gaze beyond your right shoulder. You want to think of your spine being a straight vertical line, even though it's not. 
but ground down through the six bones and reach up through the back of the skull. And then just like a rolled towel, now you want to squeeze it, pull it from each side to lengthen it, and then rolling it to twist it in the same vertical line. Inhale up that vertical line, flex your left foot, and exhale, pull the right leg to twist a bit more. Stay without that vertical line. Push the right hip forward, reach up through the back of the scalp, and then exhale, twist a bit more. Inhale here. Exhale, twist a bit taller. Keep the engagements, lifting up to the pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale, stay here. And inhale back to center. Extend your right leg out. Bring the left foot in, flex the right foot, stack lower belly in and lift up, hack your left knee, bring your left hand to the back. Pick up the chest and then rotate in the same vertical axis. Use your hand to hack and pull yourself more towards the twist, but remember the hips are grounded. So the bottom of the towel is strongly attached to the ground. The top of the towel is reaching up, and then you're squeezing it to twist it. Inhale deeply here. Keep your external leg active. Exhale, pull the lower belly in, pick it up, the ribcage in, pick it up, and twist towards the left. Inhale here. And exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale. And Inhale, come back to center. Bring your feet together. Pick up the chest. Pull the lower belly in. And breathe. Your butterfly legs are not comfortable, just cross your legs. Sit up tall. So you want to bring your left knee down and the right foot to the outside of the knee. If this is too much, then bring your foot to the inside and we're going to twist like this, making sure that the hips are grounded. If this is too much, then extend the bottom leg like we did before. Otherwise, foot on the outside, pull the belt in, pick out the chest. Option to hack the knee, option to bring the arm to the outside. And breathe. Send your right hip forward, pick up the chest, and then twist, gaze beyond the right shoulder. You can use your right fingertips for support, but keep pushing yourself up. And exhale, twist a bit taller. Pull the belly in, reach up. And exhale, twist taller. Inhale here, and exhale, twist taller. Inhale back to center. And exhale, release. Cross your legs for a second just to sit up tall, and then move to the other side. You're getting deeper and deeper into the practice. Try to hold on to your breath. Find a steady breath. You can even count the inhale to make sure that it's as long as the exhale is. Don't allow yourself to bliss out. You want to stay present and do the work. So other side, remember the variations. Foot to the outside, foot to the inside, or like extend it. Choose your option. Round the sit bones, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, hack or bring the arm to the outside. Fingertips of the back leg like pushing down, pick up the chest and rotate. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale, twist taller. 
Excellent. Left hip pushes forward. Left shoulder goes back. Pull the lane and come back to center. So it is cross the legs. Stay with your breath. Gets a bit complicated now. You want the left knee to be bent so that you sit to the inside of the foot. And then from there, you can bring the right foot all the way up and above. If this is impossible, then you can bring the left knee in and then bring the right foot on top. Half lots. If this is also very hard, then you can bring the left foot, left knee up and place the right knee down. No matter where you are, your right knee is grounded. Pick up the chest. And then from here, choose your options. From here, you want to bring the left hand under the knee. So it's important that you press down with the knee, wherever you are. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're in half lotus, pressing down. Maybe you're in this variation, pressing down. Pick up the chest and then bring the right arm all the way around and try to get it over the left hip or just keep it at the lower back to keep it long. So choose your variation, then you twist you gaze above the right shoulder and then you let your head hang back. Remember your variations. Right knee presses down the left hand and you go around with the right hand. So go all the way here. Left foot on top. Right hand press down. Pick up the chest. Pull the belly in, find a back bend in the upper back, twist, and then gaze beyond the right shoulder, and then let the head hang back. Find a sweet spot for the head to hang. Inhale, reach up through the chin, and exhale, really press down into the hand, pushing the left shoulder forward and pulling the right shoulder back. Three deep breaths here. Inhale from the root all the way up, picking up the pelvic force. I can lower belly in and up. Keep your engagement. Exhale, keep the engagements, keep the length. Two more breaths. One more breath. To come out, you carefully bring the head up slowly. Then you start on twisting, bringing the right hand down. Then you press into the right hand to release the left hand, and you remove the left. Sit up tall, find your comfortable breath. Close your eyes, make sure there's integrity in your spine, pull the shoulder blades down, and breathe. Second side. Remember your variations. This time, the left knee will be on top. 
So half lotus foot down and knee about four. Go for the full variation. Put the knee down, right foot in, and bring the left leg on top. You want to pull the belly in and find length first, then place the right hand under the left knee. Inhale, pick up the chest, rotate, and take the hand around. Exhale, twist, open up the chest, gaze beyond the left shoulder. Inhale, pick up the chin and allow the head to rest. Find a sweet spot if you need to rotate the head. Keep rolling open and breathe. Five more deep breaths. You can count the inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. In, five. Out, five. Keep side more the lane, pick up the back bottom breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale, you can twist a bit more, open the chest, pull the shoulder blades down. Two more breaths. Last breath. Very slowly, start by picking up the chin taking up the head, then releasing the left hand, placing some weight onto the left hand, pick up your right arm, release your legs carefully, sit up tall, breathe in, breathe out. This is not shoulder step. You want to find your body in a bridge position. This is not how I recommend that you enter, but this is the position you want. Your hands will be supporting the sacrum, your chin will be in, and then you'll bring the knees overhead, and extend the legs. How I, but did you see this, the body, see how it arches. It's not a shoulder stand. A shoulder stand will be here. This is Viparita Karani. So we push the chest up and we anteriorly tilt the pelvis. Now to get here from lying down, you pick up your legs, you bring the legs back, you support your sacrum, so all the way down, and then when your hips come there, you start anteriorly tilting by pulling the, the heel of the hand back to open up through the lumbar, open up through the thoracic spine, straighten the legs, point or flowing, and push up through the balls of the feet. So your hands are supporting the sacrum, your elbows are all the way in, pushing up through the, sh the chest, you're pulling the lower body in, and you're pushing your chest towards your chin. Active legs, straighten the legs, and point of flowing the feet, pushing up through the balls of the feet. Inhale, and exhale, close your eyes if you're comfortable. Inhale, and exhale. Five more breaths. Four more. Ujjayi breath is an option. Contract the lower part of the throat to make the ocean like sound.
Listen to your breath, three more. Two more. Last one. Carefully bring your feet overhead. Release your arms and slowly unroll the spine down. Use your hands as break to bring the legs down very slowly. Take a minute in Shavasana. Feel what you're feeling. And relax the whole body. Relax your eyebrows, relax the jaw. Concentrate on your breath. Stack the lower belly in, lift it towards the chest. You got the back bottom ribs towards the chest. You got the pelvic floor. Inhale deeply, holding the engagements. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, bring your feet together, flow the feet, push away through the balls of the feet. Bring your arms next to the body and then the arms overhead. Interlace the fingers and turn the palms around. Stretch away through the arms and the legs. Inhale deeply. Udiyana Bata engagement, suck the lower belly in as you exhale. Pull the lower belly in and lift it up. Create a vacuum in the lower belly. Lift up the ribcage. Lift up all the intestines, all the internal organs. Relax and then inhale. Two more times. Exhale all the breath out through the mouth. Suck everything in and imagine that you're lifting it up into the chest. All the breath out. Suck lower belly in. Lift everything up. First relax and then inhale. It's very important to push up way through the balls of the feet. You can press down the heels and reach away through the heels and then reach away through the palms. Last time, exhale all the breath out and pull everything in and towards the head. First relax and then inhale. Relax the whole body. Bend the knees, hug the knees, rock yourself forward or find your way to all fours in one way or another. Place the crown of the head on the ground. And breathe here. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Imagine like you're inhaling and exhaling through the crown of the head. Keep your back rounded, pulling the shoulder blades away. If you want to go to rabbit pose, feel free to shift the weight to the head. Relax, release the arms back and even bend the knees and grab the feet. You don't need to move to these variations. You can just stay with the hands supporting some of the weight, but keep the head pressing down. Inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale through the crown of the head. Five more. In, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Very slowly, bring your arms down if they're not. Bring that weight back, push with the hands and come to child's pose. Rest your forehead on the ground. 
Relax the whole body. Relax all engagements. Excellent. If you need to move to the wall so that you have the light the wall behind you for support. Bring your hands forward, elbow shoulder width apart. You can pack opposite elbow, opposite um, biceps. Make sure the elbows are under the shoulders. Interlace your fingers and press your wrists down. Place the head at the cap that you form and press the crown of the head down. You want to press down into the wrist, press down into the elbows and slightly pull the elbows together to feel the chest working. Then tap the toes under. If you'd like to stay here for headstand today, feel free to stay here. If you want to, extend your legs, walk the feet in. You want to bring your hips all the way over the head. Stay wherever you need to. You can stay here or you want to come up. First bring one knee in, then the other, and then lift up. You're not kicking, so use your core strength. Once you're up, you really want to press down into the head and reach up through the feet. Remember, if your feet are on the ground, it's fine. Keep pressing the head down and keep reaching the six bones away. If you're comfortable, gaze at your nose tip. If you're comfortable, close your eyes and concentrate at the crown of the head. Reaching away through the inner legs, keeping your legs active, keep your feet pointed, reaching up, inner legs reaching up, keep your glutes active, suck the lower belly in and the ribcage in. You want to feel like the hips are moving towards the way that you're facing and your knees are moving towards the back. Keep the lower belly sucked in, press down into the head, down to the elbows, down to the wrists. And deep breaths here, inhale from the head. Exhale. Inhale nine. Exhale nine. Inhale eight. Exhale eight. Keep reaching out through the legs. Inhale seven. Exhale through the head seven. Press down. Inhale six. Exhale six. Inhale five. Exhale. Inhale four, keep your belly engaged, your glutes active. Exhale four. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale two, keep pressing the head down, keep the neck active. Exhale two. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale the legs halfway down. Exhale the legs all the way down. Child folks, inhale. Exhale. Stay with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Send your arms forward. Inhale. And to all fours. Exhale. Push into the hands. Inhale. 
cactus under down dog like so. Roll the head around, inhale. Roll the belly away, exhale. Nod the head, inhale. Shake the head, exhale. Roll the head, inhale. Roll it the other way, exhale. Push into the hands, keep your chin in, wide on the shoulder blades. Exhale, push inner hands and outer hands down, wide on the shoulder blades, stretch the shoulders. Inhale, reach the heels back, reach the pubic bone up. Exhale, reach the six bones back, lengthen the lower belly. Inhale, forward into a plank position. And exhale, bend your knees down, and tighten the toes and come back, sit back. Inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Press the palms together, pull back. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, fold forward. Bring your arms overhead, relax the shoulder, relax the forehead down. Pull back with the hands. Pull the lower body in and forward. Inhale here. And exhale, reach your hands further away towards the crown of the head. Pull the belly in, reach up to the hands. Inhale. And exhale, bring your hands to your thighs. Pick up the head. We'll do some visualization of alternate nostril breathing. So just like we did before, but without the hand. As you inhale, you want to visualize golden light entering from the left nostril. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale that golden light through the right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Just a visualization. Keep sitting up tall. Inhale, right. Golden light enters, penetrates the center of the brain. Exhale, left. Golden light leaves through the left nostril. Inhale, left. Two more rounds. Exhale, right. Relax the eyebrows, relax the shoulder blades down. Inhale, right, keep the belly engaged, reaching out through the back of the skull. Exhale, left. Last round, in, left. Out, right. In, right. Out left. Inhale through both nostrils. Visualize golden light entering the brain and going up to the crown center. Exhale and watch that light going up towards the heavens. Two more times. Inhale through the nostrils to the brain to the crown, exhale, further up, and beyond. Keep sitting up tall, inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the crown of the head, up, up, up. Come to lying down for Shavasana. Lie down with your legs extended. Feet splaying out to the side, arms by the side, pull the shoulder blades down and the chin in. Inhale from your heels all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the toes. 
We have drawn the toes all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head down to the toes. Inhale from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the toes. Relax the whole body as the breath goes down to the toes. Inhale from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale all the way down to the heels. Inhale from the heels all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the knees. Inhale from the knees all the way up to the crown of the head. So from the crown of the head all the way down to your pelvic floor. Inhale from your pelvic floor all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the belly button. Inhale from the belly button all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the chest center. Inhale from the center of the chest all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head down to the throat center. Inhale from the center of the throat all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head down to the eyebrow center. Inhale from the eyebrow center up to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head out through the nostrils. Inhale from the nostrils to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head out through the nostrils. Keep inhaling from the nostrils up to the crown of the head. Keep exhaling from the crown of the head out through the nostrils. At your own pace, in through nostrils, up. Out from crown of the head through nostrils. In nostrils to crown. Out, crown, two nostrils, and up. Keep breathing in this way. Stay present. Keep breathing this way. Stay with your breath in through the nostrils towards the crown. Out from the crown to nostrils and out. Keep repeating and keep your awareness at the breath at this passage.
the next time you inhale up to the crown of the head. Keep your awareness at the crown of the head. Imagine you're exhaling from the crown of the head. Stay there as you inhale. Stay at the crown of the head. And exhale at the crown of the head. Visualize a bright white light there. Shimmering in all directions from the crown of the head. Stay with that light, stay receptive. Know that the healing light at the crown of the head is always there for you to access. With your next inhale, inhale from the crown of the head to the eyebrow center. Exhale from the eyebrow center to the crown of the head. Inhale from the crown of the head to the throat center. Exhale from the throat to the crown of the head. Inhale from the crown of the head to the heart center. Exhale from the heart to the crown of the head. Inhale from the crown of the head to the navel center. Exhale from the belly button to the crown of the head. Inhale from the crown of the way down to the pelvic floor. Exhale all the way up to the crown center. Inhale all the way down to your knees. Exhale all the way up, crown. Inhale all the way down, heels. So all the way up, ground. Inhale all the way down, toes. Exhale all the way up, ground. Inhale all the way down to the fingertips. 
exhale all the way to your heart. Stay with your heart. Inhale there. Exhale there. Inhale, heart. And exhale, send that power to your fingers, to your toes, to the crown of the head. Inhale, feel that feeling, tickling sensation at the toe tips, at the fingertips, at the crown. And exhale, start turning that sensation into movement. Move your fingers, your toes, your head from side to side. Keep breathing and start waking up your whole body. You can reach your arms overhead and stretch away. And you can then bring your knees in and hug your knees rock from side to side. Massage your lower back, your middle back, your upper back the back of your head. And then bring your right arm straight next to your right ear to turn to the left and lie down on your left side, the side of the moon. Take a moment there, just like a fetus, resting and pondering. Remember what it was like before everything. Remember what it was like to be in the room before you were given everything you were given in this life. Material possessions, values, ideas, a job, a status, a gender, a religion. Remember what it was like where, when everything was just a possibility. Stay within that feeling of possibilities. Pull your knees close to your chest, push with the shoulder and come to the center. Bring the left arm out and come to rest on the other side. Pull the belly in from that place of possibilities. Press down through the right hand and sit up. Sit up tall. Pick up your chest. Stay with your attention within, with your chest proud. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Pick up the back of your skull. Extend your arms out and bring your thumbs and index fingers together. Extend the rest of the fingers. Inhale up from the pelvic center to the crown. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale and pick up your chest, your chin, drop your head back. And exhale, bring your chin round the back. Flex. Inhale, pull your shoulders back. Pick up the back of the skull, relax the face. Kaya Stira, just a minute of full stillness. Stay receptive to whatever comes in. Stay passive, but stay open. Watching, feeling, listening. Not attaching. Just watching, feeling, and listening without attaching to what comes up.
Now bring all your awareness to the center of your chest and place a smile there. Inhale into that smile and let that smile spread around the body. Exhale, send that smile to the crown center and beyond. Relax your elbows, your hands, inhale your hands to heart center, allow your head to bow down. Stay observant to what you might be feeling, to what might come up. In a place of appreciation, we finish our practice. Bring your palms to the eyebrow center and then all the way up to the crown of the head. Inhale from the root all the way up to the fingertips. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you for your beautiful practice. Thank you for trying this out. Oh, you're feeling good. The truth in me honors and celebrates the truth in you. Namaste.